of Asgard. I have come to pay my respects to Odin. Loki. And of course, I brought presents. <laughs> Behold, my tribute to the All-Father. The day of reckoning has arrived! Long have I been denied my rightful place. But now, I have the power to take it! Look around you, team. We're standing in a land very few humans have ever seen. This is the world known as Valhalla. It's where brave Asgardian warriors go when they die. Understand that the only reason we're allowed to make headquarters here is because Asgard has fallen, and they need our help to defeat Doom. Right now, we have two possible missions. First, the gate of the Bifrost Bridge has been locked and needs to be opened. Second, many of the gods are being held prisoner in Asgard. For more information on freeing the prisoners, talk to Lady Sif. To find out about the Bifrost Bridge, talk to Hermod. If you're ready to start now, take the path to Asgard or the portal to Bifrost. Got it. I am very sorry to hear about the death of Jean Grey. I am sure you did everything you could. I would think so. The infinity vortex she was thrown into would have killed her instantly. It is the mystical equivalent of a black hole, warping the very fabric of space and time. Some say it can be used as a portal to other dimensions, but that has never been proven. Not well, I am afraid. The X-Men are a tightly knit group. Worst of all, her boyfriend Cyclops has gone missing. Nightcrawler blames himself for Miss Grey's death. He believes he should have been the one to die. It was no trouble at all. Welcome to Valhalla. I'm glad to see you. It's all because of his attack on the Omega base. You remember the super soldier serum he stole? It doesn't if you want troops for more than one battle, but that's all he needed. He created a bunch of those beasts and set them loose on Asgard. There's some theories, but nothing solid yet. Look, right now all we've got are guesses and none of them make sense. So I'm not saying anything until we have solid facts. With so many Asgardians imprisoned, and with Odin out battling the Frost Giants, Sif is now in charge. None of the gods are crazy about us being here. This is a sacred place to them. But they realize there's no choice in the matter. They need our help. You're welcome. That's a big 10-4. Hi, Deadpool. Hey, aren't you that guy who controls ants? I gotta know, what good's an army of little old blue-haired ladies? Yeah, he unleashed hundreds of them. They overwhelmed the gods and literally tore the city apart. Then Doom came through afterwards, gathered up all the unconscious Asgardians and made them prisoners. 
Not really. Doom's troops ran off in all directions after the attack. And he's not going to be making another army anytime soon, since he's used up all the super soldier serum. Those are portals to other Asgardian worlds. You mean will you wind up in Murder World again? Nah, they're perfectly reliable. Even Mordo couldn't mess them up. That thing in Mephisto's realm that the X-Man was dropped into? They're like relief valves between dimensions. There's all kinds of energy flowing through them. Look, I know what you're getting at, but the X-Man is dead. Nothing could survive that kind of pressure. Come back anytime. Got it. Okay. Greetings. I am sorry to hear of the loss of the X-Man. As I understand it, you had to make a very difficult choice. Odin is the most powerful of all gods and the ruler of Asgard. Because of his extreme powers, he is required to rest an entire day once a year in Odin's sleep. Yes, Thor is the son of Odin, as are Vidar and Loki. Although Loki was his son by battle, not blood. This is Asgard a small planetary body in an alternate dimension. It is filled with mystical beings and consists of nine separate worlds, which are joined by special portals. Asgard consists of six major races, the human-like gods, the dwarves, trolls, demons, giants, and elves. Each lay claim to a different world. As young adults, Lady Sif and Thor were very close. This of course angered Loki, so he cut off her golden hair and replaced it with hair as black as night, called Strands of Nought. Yes, but Sif has been long perplexed by Thor's affection for Earth. She wonders why a god would waste his time worrying about lesser beings. I am pleased to help. Halt! By order of the Lady Sif, you are not allowed into the Hall of the Honored Fallen until you have proven yourself worthy. Either save the Bifrost Bridge, or free the prisoners of Asgard. Then you will be deemed a valiant warrior. I'm on it. Greetings, human. I would have you know Valhalla is a very sacred place of the Asgard dead. It is only because of the war that we would allow you to make camp here. Not well. Our city is overrun, and our warriors imprisoned. Odin is now facing the Frost Giants alone. You must travel to Asgard and free Baldur from his prison. Then he can rally the other gods and win back our fair city. It is the world where the honored dead of Asgard go. Here the astral energy of the deceased exist until Ragnarok. The courageous dead are escorted here by warrior women who appear over battlefields and take stock of the slain. The greatest of them is called Valkyrie. He is second in power only to the mighty Thor. Baldur is always looked to as a leader in times of danger. He is indeed. Prophecy tells us that Baldur's death will help trigger Ragnarok, the end of Asgard, and the destruction of its people. Quite well. As children, Thor and I would play together, and then, later in life, we became... more. 
For a time, we were happy, and it seemed that we would wed. But I could not abide his constant interest in Midgard, the planet you call Earth. And because of that, we never married. You may go now. Did you want something else? You're welcome. Greetings, human. My name is Hermod, and I bring bad news. The Bifrost Bridge is under attack by the Wrecking Crew. I would ask that you travel across the bridge and open the gate to Midgard. Then additional reinforcements will be able to join us. I am Hermod, the fleetest of foot in all of Asgard. Because of my speed, I sometimes act as a messenger for Odin. Yes. I lived there for a short time because of a spell Odin cast. The gods were sent to Earth and given human identities. Bifrost is also known as the Rainbow Bridge. It's the only permanent pathway between Asgard and Midgard, or Earth as you call it. Normally the bridge is protected by Heimdall, but he was taken prisoner during the battle for Asgard. They are a group of villains led by a human named Wrecker. He acquired Asgardian powers when he was mistaken for Loki. Yes, as do his cohorts. They have plagued Thor and Asgard many times over the years. Certainly. 